Hello, Channel Right here, and today we're going to be looking at a little program I started to use for DCS, and that's called lossless scaling. There it is, there, the icon there. And what this is going to do is put, artificially put some frames in between um, your uh, graphics card frames to make it a smoother ride when you uh, fly your plane in DCS. And I'll show you what I mean. But before I do that, just a couple of things I did with DCS that you've got to do just to make sure you this program works at its potential. So open up uh, DCS. Okay, when the introduction screen appears, just click launch DCS. Okay, once you're in DCS proper, then go to settings. And what you need to do, these are my settings. I have a low to mid range um, graphics card uh, computer generally. So um, there's my settings. And what I've done is I used to have VSync on, so it's synced up with the resolution refresh of my monitor. I turned that off. Also, if you've got full screen ticked, click that off as well. And they're the two uh, important things I did, and it worked absolutely fine for me. Save it under a custom button if you want, uh, just purely for uh, the program. Okay, now let's go back to to my desktop. Okay, and here's lossless scaling here. So we open lossless scaling. It's an it's a Steam app. So um, what you've got to do is have Steam. So you haven't got that downloaded, and yeah, it's you have to pay for it, but it's only about five or six pounds. So it's about seven euros. So it's a very very a small amount of money. Price of a cup of coffee. Download it, and uh, these are my settings. So scaling mode, I just have it on auto, and I have the aspect ratio on. Um, full screen, let's, let's take it on aspect ratio, gives me full screen anyway. Scaling type, uh, I've got an NVIDIA card, so I just use that, but you could use uh, LS1, for example, uh, if you wanted to, so I just use that. On sharpness, I've just set it to two. And then I have frame generation, um, I'm just using the latest version of um lossless here and uh mode i'll just go to the lowest one this i think this is going to insert two frames per each frame that um my computer generates i don't have performance on although you may want to switch that on if you've got a very low potato computer um none of the clip cursor off adjust cursor speed i put that on because it can affect your cursor speed uh on the ui of dcs um and then uh scale cursor i just put that on i don't know what it does but i have it on uh rendering i've just sent uh, uh as default um maximum frame latency one Draw FPS is on, and then um, let's have all these off. And I have nothing on here when it comes to capture or crop or anything like that. So that's very simple. All oh, that's all I do. Okay, and then what? All I do is I just um, reduce reduce it on the screen here. It's also said not to have any overlays on, but I do have reshade on, but it's not m made any difference to me. So, because um, I like reshade, um, it pops the colors out a lot better. So I just left that on. So uh, when you, uh, let's just go into a mission. In a mission. Now, the reason I've been using this is because my computer's been slowing down recently. So I'll just go to the Caucasus. And I use templates. So I've got a lot of thing on a template where it's just, um, I've got radar systems. I've got triggers. I've got trigger zones. You know, I've got a, gr a lot of ground clutter on there. Caucasus is quite a small map, but I've got quite a... I've got quite a lot of things, as you can see here. So these are all set up for when, uh, as a single player, just to make um, 
mission's interesting. Uh, you know, I've got random triggers on there, I've got ground units uh, and things like that. So what was happening, I was uh, doing, say, a patrol. Um, say from Vasani and uh, what was happening was I was getting a it wasn't a tragic frame loss but it wasn't great uh, the stutters in my gameplay which I'd never noticed before yeah so it was a bit uh, concerning so so here we are in uh, Vasani um, I'll just auto start this I'll just come out the cockpit you see it says um, CPU bound uh, my frame rate on the ground, uh, just starting up here, is between uh, 20 frames and 45 frames per second, which is uh, pretty, you know, it's not the most rubbish, but it's pretty bad. And that's purely because of all the uh, triggers and things I've got on the uh, map. You're outside moving around, it's quite smooth, but when you're in the, uh, the cockpit, you know, it just isn't great. So what I did was I downloaded the program. So let's uh, just come out of this, go and bring it. Uh, so bring the uh, program up onto your screen. And then all you do is press scale and you have five seconds and then just click on the, uh, the DCS window. And uh, there you go. So uh, on here you will see, if I just go to a dark a bit of the screen, you will see uh, on the top um, left here, I've got, uh, it says 37 frames, 38 there. That's what the uh, computer is generating. But with lossless, I'm getting a constant 60. Now I used to have it locked at 60 anyway, because um, Let's see, you know, just give me the uh, a nice stable frame rate. So uh, here we go. I'm just coming out here and you can see it's, uh, well, I don't know if you can see for me, this is very, very smooth. Um, prior to using, prior to using the program, loss of scaling, I was, uh, would be jerking around here a little bit, uh, but not anymore. It's, um, It's absolutely fine. So, so there you go. F F16, and I'm getting cost constant 60. Uh, whether I'm up in the air, down on the bottom, firing weapons, looking through my MFD and my T-Pod camera, I'm getting a constant 60. So yeah, there you go. That is called lossless scaling. At 60 frames, I get an amazing frame rate well above that on a uh, half decent machine. So um, it's good for older machines, it's good for mid range, good for high end as well. Just smooths things out, and it and you can use it on any uh, or I believe most games. It just runs in the background. You can create a profile if you want. Took a be a bit to understand it and get into it, but if you just keep it simple, remember the main things is you have to use a windowed. Uh, uh, you have to use a window, but you're still playing the full screen, obviously, when you're in the game. You don't have to mess around with your resolution. There was somebody went on and they were messing around with their resolution to upscale it. I didn't do that. And it worked for me turning V-Sync off. It still locked the frames at what I had on V-Sync, which was 60. And that's it. That is lossless scaling. Anyway, if you like this, then please subscribe uh, for more videos of DCS interest. I've been Channel Right. I'm a dot.